the Apple Vision Pro. The MetaQuest 3. Apple recently announced their new Mixed Reality headset, and in this video, I'll be comparing it to the MetaQuest 3. The Apple Vision Pro has two built-in processing chips that provides it with 16 gigs of RAM, a 10-core GPU, and an 8-core CPU with four performance cores and four efficiency cores. The MetaQuest 3 has a Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 processor with only 8 gigs of RAM. Apple's dual processors have an edge over Meta when it comes to display resolution and tracking. The MetaQuest 3 has a display resolution of over 4 million pixels per eye, a total of 8 million pixels. However, the Vision Pro has a total of 23 million pixel display resolution. But the MetaQuest 3 has a refresh rate that goes up to 120 Hz. The Vision Pro only goes up to 100. So that's where the MetaQuest 3 succeeds over the Apple Vision Pro. The Apple Vision Pro and MetaQuest 3 are compatible with PlayStation's DualSense wireless controllers, Xbox, etc. And they can be used alongside a laptop or PC. However, with Apple's Vision Pro, you don't have to physically come in contact with a keyboard to manipulate user input. The Vision Pro creates an air keyboard display in front of you. The Vision Pro seems to be far more intuitive. It doesn't require you to handle the Joy-Con or controller. It creates different reactions to hand and eye movements and gestures just by having the headset on. It even reacts to the sound of your voice. You can flick to swipe, pinch your fingers together to shrink the display, or tap to select. And you can even grow or shrink the virtual screen in front of you if you find yourself watching a movie or playing a game. You can even use the digital crown on your Vision Pro to create a virtual setting that matches up with what's on screen, giving movies and videos more depth and making them feel very immersive. The Vision Pro and Quest 3 processors give them ray tracing capabilities that affect the way light interacts with virtual displays and calculating the patterns of sound waves to create a dynamic sound system. Said sound system is mentioned to be implemented in the Vision Pro using ray tracing and dynamic head tracking. Audio playback adapts to sound levels in the environment to make it seem like sounds are actually coming from your real world environment. And its H2 chip provides lossless audio with ultra low latency. Although ray tracing is implemented into a few of the Quest 3's various games and apps, it's not mentioned to have any effect on their sound system. The Quest 3 sound system has a 40% larger audio and bass range than the previous Quest 2 and a 3.5mm jack. Like the MetaQuest 3, the Apple Vision Pro uses accurate eye, hand, and head tracking and facial scanning to make 3D renders for online communication. But the difference is that Meta's 3D avatars are more cartoonish compared to the Vision Pro's more realistic renders. Depending on what you're going for, one may be more suitable. The Vision Pro has four eye tracking cameras, six world facing tracking cameras, and two high resolution main cameras. The Quest 3 has 110 degree horizontal and 96 degree vertical field of view. The high performance eye tracking system in the Apple Vision Pro contains a system of LEDs and infrared cameras to project invisible light patterns, accurately changing the elements around you with a glance. The resolution increases as the high resolution cameras transmit over 1 billion pixels per second. 1 billion! In real time 3D mapping. I believe that the performance in the Vision Pro would be expected to be far greater than Meta's Quest 3, simply because of the fact of the dual processors, the M2 and the R1 running simultaneously. On one end, the R1 dedicates itself to processing input from the cameras, sensors, and microphones for a lag-free, real-time experience. The M2 runs Vision OS and its advanced computer vision algorithms. Now, let's talk about design. So, the MetaQuest 3's optic profile is 40% thinner than the MetaQuest 2 and with 30% higher resolution. The Apple Vision Pro has a 18mm aperture and 6.5 stereo megapixels. The Apple Vision Pro has a built-in light seal that conforms entirely to your face and not just your eyes. However, you can get something similar, such as Meta's silicone facial interface. 
However, on MetaSite, it shows up as a separate $40 purchase in addition to the MetaQuest 3. Even with those combined purchases, it will still be almost seven times cheaper than the Apple Vision Pro. The front of the Vision Pro is all laminated glass with an aluminum alloy around it. The MetaQuest 3 has two RBG cameras, which delivers full color and high fidelity pass through, which seems to be an improvement from the MetaQuest 2. The MetaQuest 3 weighs 515 grams, which converts to 18.2 ounces. The Apple Vision Pro, however, is on the heavier end at 600 to 650 grams, which converts to 21.2 to 22.9 ounces. Now, when it comes to battery life, both have two hours of general use, but the Apple Vision Pro can be used while charging the battery and video watching lasts up to 2.5 hours. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. Comment down below which one do you think is better.